Yo, what's up everybody? Your boy here, MC. Welcome back to Swahili Nation, Swahili to the world. Guys, if you're new to this channel, you know what to do. Turn on the notification button, uh, subscribe and visit and follow me on social media. All the details are down here below. Don't hesitate to leave your comment in down below section. Whatever reaction that you want me to do, guys, I'll put them in the list and maybe I'll do some times down in this year. Guys, I appreciate it. I love you. Thank you for the love and support. Continue to support your boy. And if you want to join and become a member of this family and support us for things that we are doing and so many plans that we have in the future please head over to the comment section you'll see one link attached there and you can join as a member and there's so many benefits you'll have as a member of this channel one of them is you'll be having exclusive content just only for you and so many other benefits you can read in the description all right without wasting time guys i'm coming back to do reaction all the way from 254 kenya and this is the video of 10 surprising facts about kenya all right they have two of them so today i'm gonna do the first one and maybe another day i'll go ahead and do another one i'm very excited uh, kenya is my neighbor country it's like my second home uh, so i would love to know a lot of things about that i mean i know a couple things about them and also this would be like an eyes opening if there's anything that is not right here i will know and i'll be like no that's not right i know my kenya my kenya people you know all right guys uh, without wasting time i'm gonna go ahead to the reaction for this all right um i should teach you guys a little bit of swahili okay 10 surprising facts i want to teach you facts facts is like ukweli or something that is hakika you know facts i can say you say this is fact you mean this is true this is ukweli this is ukweli this is hakika hakika ukweli all right without wasting time guys 10 surprising facts about kenya all right, here we go. Hey guys, as you know, here at FTD Facts, we love learning new things and exploring what countries all over the world have to offer. I'm mm -hmm. really excited to bring you today's video showcasing 10 interesting facts about the beautiful right. and diverse country of Kenya. Oh, hey everybody, yeah. welcome back to FTD Facts. Okay. My name is Leroy Kenton and such a passion just, just for to be clear, this is not about Kenya right now. And travel to 29 countries oh, and the crazy. traveling is not stopping there. I have mm -hmm. so many more countries on my list. Something you may not know about me. All right. All right now it's about her it's not Is about that, kenya for anymore. the last five years i actually guys i'm just gonna jump right away to whatever they're talking about kenya here's too much information about themselves all right ftd facts family i okay. am so excited to be talking to you about kenya today i'm Make excited sure you to stick listen around you. with me until the end because i can promise there are going to be some surprising facts that interest you as much as they did me mm -hmm. all right let's get started fact number 10 kenya actually got its name from mount kenya which is the second highest oh. mountain peak in africa Dang. after mount kilimanjaro crazy. in tanzania interestingly enough mount kenya oh, was originally right. referred to as mount kirinyaga by indigenous people meaning mountain of whiteness because of its snow-capped peak uh, it was only later that it was changed to mount kenya because of the inability of the british to pronounce kirinyaga correctly it gotta why be am i not me. surprised like the name all of the right, country so our next came interesting from mount fact kenya. takes wow, us to right. human existence Guys, let in us kenya know which actually dates back to the lower paleolithic period mm -hmm. the discovery of the remnants of the earliest human ancestors in the turkana basin of kenya has mm -hmm. led scientists to consider it as the original birthplace of humans Dang guys man. i am shocked i don't know about you all right so fact number eight the southwest region of the country is actually home to lake victoria known locally as victoria exactly. nyanza which mm -hmm. is the world's second largest freshwater lake now you probably don't know this but the lake was water. actually named after queen victoria following the arrival of the british lake victoria is also the world's largest tropical lake now what does that mean well it essentially means that the water never dips below 4 degrees Celsius or 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit, so it never freezes perfect for swimming all year round. All right, let's Dang. move on to talking about culture. Victoria so the culture's Lake. traditions and lifestyles vary considerably in Kenya. No By the way, we got to change that name, Victoria Lake, all right? Because you cannot tell me that the colo colonists, they discover Victoria Lake. That's why they name it in Victoria. We have to change it. East Africa, this is the time to change the name of Victoria Lake. We can do this. It's something very local. Make up the vast population of the country, which communicates in more than 68 languages. Yes, 68. 68 languages. Let's take notice of the fact that Swahili and English are the country's official languages. Yes. It's also That's important true. to know that the population also practice several religions, including Protestantism, Roman Catholicism, Islam, and many 
many other indigenous beliefs. Okay. All right. I got Taking you. us over to fact number six. Kenya is well known for its grassland ecosystem, which mm -hmm. gives shelter to various animals, including elephants, lions, cheetah, giraffes, zebras, hippos, rhinos, and many others. As a result, Kenya is a popular destination for its wildlife reserves and safaris. So some of the most notable wildlife sanctuaries are the Sabo National Park, the Masai Mara, Nakuru National Park, and the Aberderes National Park, which mm -hmm. are definitely worth a tour if you're ever in the area. So our next fact talks about income. Now, unfortunately, okay. income disparity this is very sensitive part right now. It's very high in the country. Mm -hmm. Most of the families either being very rich or very poor. Now, this means that the rich are capturing the largest share of the country's economic wealth. And there's very little wealth that actually is able to trickle down to the poorest of the poor. Uh -huh. So to put that into perspective for you, less than 1% of the population owns more wealth than the bottom 99.9%. That means that me. 8,300 people own more than the rest of the 44 million people in the country. Another interesting fact to consider is that the richest 10% of people in Kenya earn on average 23 times more than the poorest 10%. Guys, that's a huge difference. Mm, so basically what we're realizing is that if these statistics do not improve within the next five years, mm. it is predicted that another 2.9 million people will be living in extreme poverty. Alrighty, Gotta working our way down to Ain't fact number four. So Come located on. off the northeast coast and still belonging to Kenya, you can find Lamu Island, mm. most known for travelers as being a car-free island. Why is that? Well, because of the small winding roads on the island, residents are forced to walk via foot or by donkey to get to wherever they're going. Cars and driving for the local public is actually banned. Well, I don't know about you guys, but if I went to the island with a bunch of suitcases, I'd be worried. All right, guys, our next <laughs> fact is taking us to talk a you don't little need to worry. about marriage. It's gonna be all right. 2014, it is now legal in Kenya for a man to marry as many women as he wants. Whoa. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's so exactly what I said. As many President Uhuru oh. Kenyatta okay. signed the polygamy measure as it has long been a cultural practice in the nation anyway, so he thought, why not? Now, while many female lawmakers angrily protested the law coming into effect, the Federation of Women Lawyers, a powerful women's rights group, actually argued right that the bill is long overdue because polygamous unions were previously yes. not regarded as uh -huh. equal to regular marriages. So basically, with this law in effect now, all marriages will be issued with marriage certificates. So all women will have proof of being married to a man regardless <laughs> wow. of how many wives he already has. So all just right. to recap a little bit for you what this marriage act actually means. The Marriage Act of 2014 now defines various types of marriages, including monogamous marriages, polygamous, customary, Christian, Islamic, and Hindu marriages as well. All right, fact number two, and this is probably my favorite. Barack Obama was the first American president to visit Kenya in 2018. So he actually traveled to his father's home country to promote Barack the Obama. Of a He's half and Kenyan. Come on. That his half sister, yeah, Alma Obama, founded through her charitable foundation. Now, while Barack had previously visited Kenya in 1987 to visit his stepsister, 2018 marks his first official visit as wow. President of the United States. That's pretty exciting, guys. All right, mm -hmm. on to our last fact, Barack but certainly Obama. not the least interesting. I Tourism and coffee are Kenya's Kenya. biggest yeah, industries. So out, Kenya man. was actually voted as the world's the leading safari destination the by the World Travel Awards in 2015. Many mm -hmm. travelers visit with the anticipation of catching a glimpse of the Big Five while on safari. <laughs> I know Obama. that that's I'm my sure plan for the future. Kenya's still. famous coffee plantations thrive due to the country's higher elevation. Yes, this allows for is really popular good, tourist excursions to visit local plantations to sample diverse selections of coffees mm -hmm. and teas. So guys, I think you know, if you ever visit Kenya, that's definitely something that's got to be at the top of your list. All right, guys, so that's it for today's 10 facts about She's Kenya. Quite funny. I really mm -hmm. hope that you enjoyed watching as much I as I enjoyed making it for you. As a passionate traveler, I gotta tell you, Kenya has now made it to probably one of the top few countries of my bucket list. Maybe it has for you too. As always, we want to know what you think. Leave your comments down it below. Tell us what you know. Tell us what you think. What did you like? What kind of suggestions do you have? We want to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, I have another similar video that you have to check it out. No, seriously, click on the link in the video description section. Okay, guys, I am out of here. I am so thrilled to have <laughs> shared my very first video with you. All I'm right. looking forward to making many more as we explore this vast world together. See ya. <laughs> See ya. All right, guys, dang.
Um, well, Kenya, shout out to Kenya. But by the way, yeah, um, my, my, my mind was just still thinking about Obama and what America they're going through right now. Uh, you know, everybody miss Obama so much. Anyways, uh, praying for America's peace that they will experience peace uh, during these uh, tough times. Anyways, shout out to Kenya, man. I love my brothers and sisters from Kenya254. I've never been there before, but I am super excited and I cannot wait to visit you guys. I cannot wait to visit Kenya. I'll be there very soon because it's my home right there. You know what I'm saying? Africa is my home. The entire continent is my home. And I'm going to come there right away. All right, guys, I appreciate you for stopping by. Don't hesitate to subscribe, turn the notification button, and also, you know, comment in the comment section below. Let us know what do you guys think. By the way, I enjoyed this video, so shout out to this girl as well who prepared this uh, amazing facts about Kenya. And it's until next time, don't forget to love one another and spread peace wherever you are. I'm out of here.